So today we're going to show you guys how to go sledding without snow by using this, the Diggler scooter. Hey, happy Memphis! So you guys are always asking about <laughs> how we keep our dogs active in the summer. You know, because you guys know we do sledding and stuff. There's no water in there, sweetheart. Sledding and stuff in the winter time. And I know some of you have seen the video we did on our little cart that we have that we use with the dogs and take them running. Some of you may have seen what I'm going to show you next, but some of you may have not. Today we're going to show you our Diggler scooter. Oakley. <laughs> Oakley's like, I haven't seen this yet. Oakley hasn't actually got to pull it yet because uh, I don't know. I don't know if she can. <laughs> So basically, the Diggler works kind of like the sled, only without snow. Um, there are a few things you are going to need for using for going scootering with your dogs. And basically, the setup that we have for this for the scooter is the exact same setup you can use for bike joring with your dogs. Um, one thing you are going to need is a bungee line. This is our bungee line. This line is actually set up for two dogs. You really don't want to do bike dooring or scootering with more than two dogs at a time. I think that would probably be a little bit much because this moves a lot fast. It has a lot less resistance than a sled does, so it's going to move a lot faster than the sled. So I haven't done it with more than two dogs and it goes pretty fast with two dogs. One dog is really easy. Two dogs is kind of crazy, um, but I've done it with Shelby and Memphis before. So anyway, what you're going to need is either a scooter or like I said, a bike. You're going to need this little clasp here and uh, I will put links to all these things down in the video description below before I even get any further. The scooter, the line, the noodle, the harness, all of this stuff was bought from alpineoutfitters.net. That is where we get all of our equipment for sledding and urban mushing, all the harnesses, everything we get from alpineoutfitters.net. So you're going to need the hook to hook your line to your bike or your scooter. You're going to need the line, like I said, and then this, they call this a noodle. And as you can see, the line goes through the noodle and then this part hooks up here to kind of keep it taut. What this is for, this is to stop the line from falling and getting tangled in the tire. If you didn't have this line, see how the, the line just kind of goes over the tire? Well, your fear would be that it's going to get tangled up in here. So you definitely want to have a noodle also. Basically for the scooter or for bike drawing, you use the same type of fans that you do for sledding. Whoa for slow down, hike for go, haw for left, G for right. Um, exact same commands because it's just like sledding. You know, they're stretched out in front of the diggler. And then for the harness, we use the urban mushing harnesses. Shelby, you want to demonstrate a harness? She's like, no, not really. <laughs> but anyway, we don't use the crossback racing harnesses when we go bike dooring or scootering. We use the urban mushing harness, again, from alpineoutfitters.net. This is Shelby's harness that I brought out here to show you guys. But now we're going to show you guys a clip, hopefully it turned out okay, of us using the scooter with Memphis and Shelby. Oakley did not go because, again, we don't want her overexerting herself too much quite yet. So there you go you guys, there's our little video showing yet one more way you can have fun with your dogs when there's not snow on the ground. You know, besides sledding, you can do this. Um, another thing is there are different levels of the Diggler scooter. Uh, I bought a little bit more advanced one. You can buy, there's like a child size one, which actually adults can fit on if you check the weights on it. Uh, I had a friend of mine that that's how she started off was with the smaller Diggler. I went with the bigger one. Um, there's a bunch of different levels, a bunch of different styles. You can go to alpineoutfitters.net to check all those out. So anyway, we hope you enjoyed this little video of our Diggler scooter. I know some of you guys had seen it in the vlogs and you had asked more about it and wanted to know more about, more about it. So since we finally had a nice cool day and we were able to take the dogs out on it, we thought we would do a video showing you guys what it is. 
All right, you guys. Hey, if you have any suggestions for what you do with your dogs in the spring, summer, and fall months, things that you do to have fun, leave us a comment. Let us know what you guys do to have fun with your pets. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. And we'll see you soon. Say goodbye.